And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue, Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Fulham, and they take on Sheffield United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Tom Kearney starts alongside Jean-Michel Seri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. Thank you for attending the game at Craven Cottage today. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. Could cross it in here. He's got to score! And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Wilson, Mitrovic, Wilson, element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Connor Hurahan, Sharp, well they're on the scent of something positive. Stevens, David McGoldrick, crossing opportunity. A very effective clearance. Connor Hurahan. Now can they create something? Just couldn't capitalise there. Joe Bryan. Ream with it. Adarabayo Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Must be! Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not cleared away completely. This looks interesting. Shielding the ball superbly. Determined defending. The cross is on. Joe Bryan. Wilson. Mitrovic. 
Not really the ideal clearance. But he could really get at the opposition. Conor Hurahan. Decent position. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Cabano. Kearney. And possibilities here. Mitrovic. Superb block. Connor Hurahan. And it's with Gibbs White. Chance here. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And now the delivery. And miles off target with the header, but in fairness, the marking was tight. Wilson. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Goalkeeper's ball. The cross delivered too close to him. So nearly at half time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity... And up for grabs off the keeper! And a free kick awarded by the referee. Can they extend their lead? And the keeper denies them from the spot. Short corner favoured. Now will the cross work out for them? Oh no, it's gone horribly wrong in terms of the finish. Bobby Reid and on the ball Kearney and Reid with it Alexander Mitrovic Tete losing possession a bit easily well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Stevens. And a chance to whip it in here and play to the front post. Still not clear. Well, that's the end of that for now. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Tom Kearney. Kebano has it. Brian. And so it is, the first half story has been written.
You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Connor Hurahan. And it's with Gibbs White. Sharp. Could be dangerous. And the cross is very much on. So a throw in here. Well, let's see about the cross. And a struggle to get it away properly. And in the end, no damage done. Tom Kearney. And can they prize them open now? I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Stevens. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Oh dear, oh dear. He went for placement, but a really tame effort, you have to say. And the substitution will occur now. Substitution for Sheffield United. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Billy Sharp. To be replaced by number 11, Lise Rousset. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. On the mark. Mitrovic, and a goal to square the game, edge of the seat stuff. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So back underway, one goal apiece here. And into the last 30 minutes now. Stevens. Connor Hurahan. Oliver Norwood. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Cabano. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Wilson. Firing it towards goal. Well, it was a superb counter-attack, but no goal. Yeah, really good play. Won the ball back well and then countered with great speed. That deserved a goal. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Might really be able to trouble them here.
Wilson. Tete. Now with Wilson. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Kearney. Oh, he's through here. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Lise Mousset. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Brian. Dangerous looking through ball. And not cleared away properly. And he clears it out of harm's way. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it. But they have to do more going forward. Down by a goal. This could be their final opportunity to snatch something. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Harry Wilson. And now Kenny Tete. Wilson. And options in the centre. Oh, denied him brilliantly. Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is. And they will make the change now. Coming off the pitch, number three, Ender Stevens. Coming onto the pitch, number 23, Ben Osborne. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it has come to nothing. Mitrovic. That's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. Chance to cross. And the throw in forthcoming. Norwood. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Connor Hurahan. A chance to whip it in. Norwood. Hurahan. Osborne. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.